stay tuned because next up is David Charles Allen, Village Properties Realtor and host of The Hop. That's Home Ownership Podcast, here to give us the latest news on real estate in Santa Barbara. Welcome to The Hop. This is David Charles Allen, Realtor at Village Properties in Santa Barbara, California with my great friend and co-host, Patty Teal. I'm doing wonderful today, Patty. How are you doing? I'm doing well too, David. Here in Florida, it's turned into summertime though, I'm afraid. Oh, what's the temperatures like over there these oh. days? It gets into the low 90s and it's just a pattern of like rain just about every afternoon. So very humid too. Oh, sounds beautiful in a way, you know. (laughs) I love your ever positive attitude, David. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, at least it's, is it better that it's raining or is it worse that it's raining? Well, I think it's better that it's raining. I think it cools it down a little bit, but it is very humid. Like before the rain comes, you just feel the humidity a lot. So it's kind of a toss up. Yeah, it's a lot different than the Arizona heat, I imagine, as well. It is different, but that was very hot too. Yeah. Santa Barbara is definitely, of the three, definitely has the more temperate, nicer, enjoyable weather. Yeah, we're looking ahead to sunny skies in the 60s. So, I mean, can't really beat that. You can't beat that, no. Yeah, there's even some little south swell in the water too. Looking ahead, maybe a couple more coming up. So we'll see how that happens. Sounds lovely. And then in terms of interest rates, we're at 6% for a 30-year jumbo and 6.5% for 30-year conforming. So slightly up since last week, but not too much of a change. Yeah. Okay. Been doing that for a little while now, just slightly up or slightly down, but no big changes. Yeah. It kept people a little bit balanced because they're more comfortable with their ranges. And if it's not making those huge spikes, they can actually keep looking for what they can afford and have to have to change plans every week. That's right. Mm -hmm. Then in terms of how the listings are performed, we got 27 new listings. 14 price changes, 24 that closed, 21 that went pending, five back on the market and four coming soon. So huge drop again on new listings. So that's not something we want to see, but we are leaning towards the start of summer and we're hoping to get on a good track of getting these more listings, but it seems to be going the opposite way, which isn't a good sign of uh, supply to come. Oh, that is disappointing because I remember two weeks ago, it was in the 50s and then it dropped last week and now it's kind of dropped again. Yeah. So who knows what's really happening? We've had some cloudy weather. So maybe mm-hmm. that's opening some things up and people are waiting for the sun to come back out. So maybe we, that we really certainly know. does change people's mood. Like we're saying, Santa Barbara is very temperamental in terms of how people react to weather. So if it's not beautiful and sunny, it changes their mood. They haven't that's, lived somewhere else where you're getting snow oil. and rain all the time. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's, it's five degrees too cold. It's I know, cloudy. it's crazy. <laughs> That's what makes it fun. Mm-hmm. Any questions today for me? Well, I was watching Good Morning America today and I wanted to ask your opinion because I don't know if you're a person who watches Shark Tank, but Barbara Kokorin, if I'm saying her name right, the real estate mogul, she was giving her real estate advice and she felt like right now is the best time to buy real estate. She knows the interest rates aren't as low as they were, of course, but she said, if you wait until the rates go down, everybody will be buying. You'll have more bid wars and prices will start going back up. And she said, you can always refinance. So I wondered if you were in agreement with Barbara. That's very true. It's like, you really don't know how to predict what's going to happen, but you can predict models on how people's behaviors are when certain things happen. So yeah, if the interest rates drop and prices were to stay the same, that would open up a lot of potential buyers to being able to afford homes that maybe were out of their range, or maybe they weren't able to get into before. So it's sound advice in terms of logically thinking what could happen if the rates drop. But that's not taking into account so many other factors. You know, if the rates drop, does something happen with a job market? People start getting laid off. You know, is there going to be less demand even with the rates dropping? I've talked about this many times before. We have this cloud of big, high-end investment funds buying up a lot of houses and turning them into rentals. Even if the rates drop and the prices stay the same, we could have a lot of that investment fund moving money into it again. Even if the rates drop and prices stay the same, 
how many bidding wars are they going to be? So it could be good advice. It's just really hard to predict what can really happen and all the situation awareness that you have to have. Right. So David, other than the advantage to the real estate investor, is there any advantage to having uh, real estate investors come into Santa Barbara and buy a lot of property? Or is it pretty much more negative for the average person? I would say it's negative. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I you know, mean, I, I don't appreciate I don't your really, honesty. I don't really see the, how those are positive for the average person. I mean, the Mesa itself has turned into a lot of short term rentals. So you're having that lack of a market to even rent a house here if you want to. And then if you try and buy, it's such a high monthly price for a mortgage or such a high bar to actually purchase. I mean, the less supply we have, the harder it is for those people that are just starting out looking for a home to be able to purchase. And with uh, a bunch of investment money coming in and the positive side is it keeps the prices really well. Like if people are already homeowners, mm-hmm. you're getting a higher value on your house because more people are coming in and investing. That means prices are going up, supply is shrinking. And right. then there's negatives if you're trying to get into the market <laughs> as a yes. homeowner. So it, yes. it goes both ways. Depends which yes. side of the one you're on. Exactly. Oh, great explanation. Thank you so much. So I can never let you go without checking on the fur babies and how they're doing. Everyone's doing really well right now. Mangoes cuddle up right next to me. Moose is slain outside. And everyone's just really enjoying life. I'm so glad. Everything's good here, too. My dogs actually just love to go out and about. And it just seems like even a little trip to a store, you know, to walk through a store makes them so very happy. Are your dogs the same way? Or you probably can't take them into stores as much since you have a whole pack. Yeah, we used to take Moose into stores and he just wants to say hi to everybody. Oh, just, right. <laughs> he's like a gentle giant, but he likes to lean on people. Oh, like, right, right. Yeah. Oh, so that's so sweet. There. Yeah, th- I have yeah. to watch Ollie because sometimes if I don't watch him really closely, he comes up and licks people's ankles. And, you know, that can be very startling. I'm wondering they might think it's a rat or something because you know, I they're, know, they're right. not seeing him. And then all of a sudden there he is, a little lick. Yeah. So yeah. Moose is the same way, except he maybe will jump, try and jump on you or like right, a bigger, bigger version. Thing. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So David, if people are interested in talking further with you, whether they are thinking of buying or selling, how would they get a hold of you? Yeah. My number is 805-617-9311. And my email is david at davidcharlesallen.com. Thank you so much, David. We always appreciate your great advice. All right. Thank you so much, Patty. It's going to go next week.